Hey guys, it's super dark and super early, but we're heading to a show and I'll catch up with you guys when it's bright. <laughs> Here's Rocky. He's got the most hideous plaits in the world in because I didn't pull his mane enough and it was too thick. Anyway, I will know for next time. Um, so yeah, we're almost ready to go. I just gonna load them up and hit the road and I will, yeah, catch you guys up and let you know um, what we're doing then. Hey guys, and welcome to the first show vlog with Rocky. Um, we're on our way to the show now. I'm here with Andrew. Say hi. Hey. <laughs> um, we had to leave super early, totally my fault, because I entered a little baby class, and I'm like, my dressage is at half eight, or eight twenty-three or something. So yeah, and it's a two hour drive, and then we had to get ready, so it was a nice early start. <laughs> Um, so today we're going to Rokewood Pony Club to do the combined training, which is dressage and show jumping. So I'm riding Rocky, obviously, Andrew's riding Diva. I'm riding the grade four, the grade four, um, which is about 65 centimeters. And Andrew is riding the grade two, two which is 90, 90 95 meter. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's it, we're on our way. I'm excited, Rocky has been going pretty well, he was pretty good yesterday, he was like reasonably good. Yeah, honestly we talked about our goals for the today and it was to not place last, so <laughs> catch us in a few hours to see if we achieve that goal of not placing last. So yeah, I'm really excited actually, I also gave him a little jump yesterday and he was pretty good, he was pretty relaxed, so yeah, fingers crossed all goes well, It's I have done a dressage competition or I've done an event once when I was like a kid on a pony and that was it. That's like the only proper dressage competition I've ever done. So I had to ask Andrew what arm to salute with. We Googled it. It's either arm. <laughs> Fact for the day. I've been asking um, Meg, um, Elphic Vent Ponies, how long to warm up for, <laughs> what time I need to get to the get to the show to be on time. Man, I have no idea. Um, so I had to buy a white numna and have one. Anyway, I feel like we're ready. We're as ready as we could be. But don't be expecting Grand Prix Charlotte Dujardin work because you're not gonna get it. Um, so we're gonna muddle through that and then we're gonna head to show jumping where I'm a bit more comfortable. <laughs> so yeah, we're almost, well, we're 35 minutes away. So I'll catch you guys when we get there. Um, and yeah, we'll see what's like. Um, Andrew's never been to this place before. I obviously haven't either, so we don't really know what to expect. Don't know where anything is. So yeah, we'll get the sus and then, yeah, I'll show you around. So I'll see you when we get there.
Now, I'm very sorry, I did not get to film one second of before my test because we were a little bit late and I just had to rush and fix all the plaits that he pulled out on the float and get him ready and he was so good! I'm very pleased, he was as good as I could 100% expect. He um, picked up both his canter leads, our one big mistake was that when I went to canter to the left he was riding towards that little, little white rail and he was trotting towards it and I put a leg to canter but he kind of thought I wanted him to jump it which is a totally fair assumption um, but I did not want you to jump it no I didn't I wanted to get you some treats actually and um, and yeah he kind of went to jump it and I kind of had to pull him out of that um, which meant it wasn't super smooth but he still cantered and then the rest of that canter bit was quite good. The canter on the right rein was really quite good actually. Well, for us. And yeah, and it was all reasonably, reasonably good. Um, it wasn't beautiful. He wasn't in a outline the whole time, but he was reasonably relaxed and he did everything I asked him to do. So I'm so pleased. Oh, I just flicked myself in the air with your own hair. You're so cute. He's so cute, guys. He's just the cutest boy. So yeah, I'm very pleased. So now it is Andrew's turn to go show dressaging and then we'll do show jumping and then Andrew will do his dressage or his show jumping. So that is the order of things. That's the order of the morning. That's the order of the morning. That's the order of the morning. And yeah, so we're gonna help Andrew now. Going to get you some treats. He has his day. And yeah, that's it. Exciting. Good boy. Cutie. All right, so Andrew just did his dressage test and she went so good. <laughs> Is this necessary? Is this necessary? So now it's time for us to do some show jumping. Woohoo, good boy. Also got my score, we got 65 point something, which I think is very reasonable. Well done. We're not in last place and that's all we wanted. Isn't that right? <laughs> Rocky is ready to go. Don't look so excited, Rocky. <laughs> oh, he'll perk up soon enough, won't you? Oh, that looks a bit funny there. What's going on there? Yeah, you're so cute. Now, good boy. We're finished! Look at all these horses. Good boy. Now we are all done for the day. Rocky's done his show jumping. I look like a crazy person. It's because it's super humid. And Andrew has done his show jumping and Diva was so good. She was so relaxed in the dressage and so relaxed in the show jumping and super 
rideable. So that's all we could ask for. We are home. My phone ran out of memory. Very sorry, guys. I will update you guys when I get home. But we're home safe and sound and it's raining and a bit miserable. So we're going to put the horses out, give them a bit of food and then they'll be sorted. Now Rocky is home safe and sound, munching into his hay. The rain has stopped and I will catch up with you guys when we get home. Oh, good boy, Rocky. He's looking for his girlfriend, Diva. They're obsessed with each other, aren't you? Yes, you are. All right, I'll catch up with you guys later on. Hey guys, so sorry that my video was cut short while I was at the show. Um, I ran out of space on my phone. So I will just do a little recap now of the day. So starting with the dressage, he was really good in the warm up. Um, recently our canter has gotten really good. Like he consistently strikes off on the correct lead. He is generally tense for a few strides and then I ask him to just do a circle or something and then he relaxes. And that is kind of what happened in the test. Our transition wasn't great. It was a little bit rushed into them and then it would be a little bit tense. And then as we did our circle, he would relax by the end of it. So it was good that, you know, there were some good parts. Very pleased with him. All his trot was really quite reasonable. His walk was great. He walked the whole time. He didn't do any jigging and even his walk on a loose rein was relatively good. I was really pleased with that. So yeah, really happy. And then we moved on to the show jumping. So I had to put him away and then get him for the show jumping after like an hour or two. And he was quite excited in the warm up. And the warm up was really narrow and it was a little bit tricky. So um, it was a little bit of a test for him, but he was relatively good. Um, we also got a breastplate for the jumping because um, he's just changed shape quite a bit recently and the saddle has started slipping back when he jumps. So we've got a breastplate for him now. So that's all good. And yeah, I jumped around um, in the warm up. He only popped a few fences because it was only 65 centimeters. So popped a few fences. He was feeling super confident. It's just crazy to me that this is the horse that was literally terrified to go over a pole, like was so nervous and would always stop at fences and stopped at fillers and everything. Whereas now there was a kind of a spooky wall filler there and I walked him up to it before I started my course and he was quite wary. He was like, oh, I don't know about that now. And I just kind of gave him a pat and left him at it. Um, luckily it was at the end of the course. So by then we were really in our rhythm and um, he just popped straight over it. I did bring him back to trot just so I had a bit more control, kept my leg on, kept my reins short and he just popped straight over it. So really pleased that he has so much more confidence now with the jumping and with fillers and everything. It's just nothing really seems to phase him anymore. And that's purely just because you know, like confidence in horses is gotten by pushing them a little bit outside their comfort zone, but always making sure it's a good experience. So when he used to be afraid of jumps and wanting to stop, I just keep going and they're always really small. So he could even walk over with them if he um really, really didn't want to trot or anything. So yeah, whenever he would stop at a fence, I just make him walk over it. And he was like, oh, didn't die. That was grand. And now, yeah, he has all the confidence in the world. He's super super confident jumping which is so happy about um did have a little bit of a mishap to the double um uh, it was just a bit of a tight turn and there was no stride there and like we don't have our shortening and collecting down yet so I just kind of um tried to ask him to shorten but he was a bit confused so he got in underneath it but he kind of uh, scrambled over it and then jumped to the second part so I was pleased with that um and it didn't knock his confidence at all so yeah, he just needs to learn to find his feet when he gets in those little sticky spots. Um, if we're on a long stride or a good stride, he's always fine. It's when we get in a little bit close, he doesn't quite know where to put his feet, but he will totally work that out. Might do a bit of grid work this week, um, hopefully. Um, but yeah, that's it. So we finished in 15th place out of 20 odd people. So um, not the worst, we weren't last and that was the goal. So I think we were respectable. You know, we weren't completely out of out of place there. Um, so yeah, I was really pleased. So now he's gonna have a couple of days off just to chill out, think about what he learned. And we actually have a show next weekend. Um, it's also combined training, so show jumping and dressage. We'll also be doing grade four, which is the same height, but it's a different dressage test. It's actually a nicer dressage test. In this test um, at the show, we had to canter like almost straight away, which isn't lovely. Whereas the test we're doing next week, we do all our trot and our walk before we even start to canter. So um, I think that'll be nicer for him. He'll be more into the swing of things and relax by the time we get to canter. So I'm pleased about that. 
Um, and yeah, after that, we have no more shows officially booked in. So he'll probably have maybe go cross country schooling or something the week after. And then I'm on call. Oh no. And then I have something on and then I'm on call. So he'll have a few easier weeks now after these two shows, which is good. It, it gives us loads to work on. Like, I feel like I have so much to work on now with him. It's so exciting. I'm so motivated. So, um, I love shows for that. It's good to just have a little, um, have a little go out and see where you're at and it just kind of shows up where exactly you need to work on and what yeah what you need to work on so I'm um, very very excited for the future with little Rocky he's such a sweetheart and he's so good like other things like he stood tied to the float all day didn't care less just stood there chilled out like he's so easy to like tack up and I was like doing his rosebuds there at the show he's just so easy on the ground doesn't get really phased by the atmosphere. He only gets a little bit excited when I'm riding him, which is understandable. So yeah, he's just a really good boy. He's great to travel, he's great to load. So yeah, he's he's a really good boy and I do love him. So I'm really excited for the future. So the next video will probably be the show next weekend, unless I film a bit of training during the week. And if I do, I'll do a little kind of maybe vlog of that. I'll see how I'm going. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and a new update on Rocky. There was no weekly update last week because I was on call, super busy, and I was sick of reading all the negative comments. So I just said no, no video next, no video last week. So yeah, this is a PSA. If you have any criticism or any advice for me, I don't actually want it I'm sorry um, I know people just really really want to give their advice but um, I can't take advice from random strangers on the internet I will take advice from instructors that I know that they're qualified and I'll pay them for their advice so they're the people that I'll take advice from and um, unfortunately I can't really take advice from people I don't know like you know you're just a random person on the internet and when I click on these people's profiles they have no videos they have no proof that they even know the head or the tail of a horse so <laughs> i think it's unwise to take advice from um those people so um yeah that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you in next week bye, bye.